statins are the backbone of LDL cholesterol lowering therapy. Why do we need new drugs? Well, you know, it's fascinating if you look. We've been talking about cholesterol for over 100 years, and it wasn't that long ago that people were being called crazy when they, they dared to want to lower cholesterol to reduce risk. Um, and then we, what we needed was we needed a big outcome trial, and that study was called 4S, and that changed everything. And that's had a profound benefit for us in terms of reducing cardiovascular morbidity and mortality, um, but it's only got us so far. And a PCSK9 inhibitor really has the potential to extend that LDL story even further. And I think that, you know, it was fascinating that after 4S, Brown and Goldstein postulated that heart attacks would be eradicated by the turn of the century. And they didn't quite get that right, because I think we have to probably get cholesterol levels a little bit lower. And so maybe we get one step closer to that eradication if we can use these agents. How excited are you about the new PCSK9 inhibitors? This is the game changer that we've been waiting for, that it's been 20 years since uh, the seminal outcome trial showed us that statins worked, and in that time, not one single new class of anti-atherosclerotic agents has been shown to work. It has been one episode of disappointment and failure after another, and uh, this is a field that is greatly in need of some positive news, and uh, I think that the PCSK9 inhibitors are, are going to be that kind of breath of fresh air. And I think there's a lot of people in clinical practice who are waiting to see these agents come to practice and waiting to see how they will be able to use them uh, for their patients. With the regulatory recommendation that the first of these drugs should now be available for clinical practice, how will you use them for your patients in your practice? Um, well, I'm going to look to use, um, use these agents to start off with in the patients with the greatest unmet need. So I'm going to ask myself the question, whose LDL cholesterol is nowhere near where I want it to be? Um, I'm not going to look to start off with a patient who's got an LDL cholesterol of, say, 1.3 millimoles per litre on high-dose statin. That's not going to be the patient that I'm going to start with. I'm going to look for those patients whose LDL cholesterols are two and a half, three millimoles per litre, either on maximal therapy or on maximally tolerated kind of therapy. And I think that that's where I can make the greatest impact in terms of reducing risk. And that's where we'll start. And you know what we'll see is over the next couple of years, we'll see the outcome trials uh, reported out. And if we assume for the point of the discussion that they work, um, then, they're going to, then they are going to be in a situation where there are going to be much lower LDL cholesterol levels. And I think then that will then extend the patient set who would be looking to use these agents in.